Well, what are the facts college students need to know about FAFSA, the Federal Student Aid Program? Well, here with guidance is Bill Wozniak. He's the Vice President of Communications and Student Services for Invested. Good morning, Bill. Good morning. The information, the press release uh, you sent to me said you were going to demystify uh, FAFSA. So why does it need to be demyst demystified? Because the free application for federal student aid is so much more than just federal student aid. It's also for state of Indiana aid, and it's also for aid from the colleges and institutions themselves. So the FAFSA is the gateway into almost all financial aid for education. So what is missing? What are you seeing as a problem? Are people not filing? Exactly. So many students across the state and across the country do not file every year. And so millions of dollars that are available to help fund post-secondary ed go unused. And it's one of the reasons why student loan debt grows as much as it does, because there's these aid dollars that could be used to help bring down what the student has to pay or borrow. And it doesn't get used because the FAFSA form wasn't filed. So the first step is to make sure we get it filed and we make sure we put ourselves in position to get that financial aid. So uh, when is the deadline for uh, Indiana students to file? The priority deadline in Indiana for Indiana state aid is April 15th. If you file the FAFSA by April 15th, you will receive all the aid that you are eligible for but if you don't file before April 15th, it's not guaranteed. So that's a very important priority deadline in Indiana. Well, Bill, help us understand some of the myths about financial aid and what problems that creates. The two biggest myths are, I'm going to have to pay sticker price. I'm going to have to pay the highest amount. And people get the amount that they're going to have to pay wrong all the time. They end up paying net price, not sticker price. And we're really trying to emphasize that and let people know that. And then the second part is, I'm not going to file the FAFSA because I won't get any aid. As we know, year after year, students across the country don't file that would have gotten aid that don't. So what am I going to pay? and I'm not going to file the FAFSA are really the two biggest myths and problems that we encounter. Uh, is there enough help for need-based financial aid for students? So help to file the FAFSA is out there with us. 317-715-9007 is our phone number and anybody can contact us. So the help is available for all Hoosiers across the state. Just reach out to us. We'll get you across that finish line and we'll get you done. Because if you get that form filed, then you're in position to receive the financial aid. If you don't file the form, you're going to not be eligible for many types of aid that really could make a difference. Well, let's circle back to the money that is left on the table. What becomes of those dollars? Those dollars are set there and put there for those that get in line, fill out the form, and take the steps necessary. So the Pell Grant nationally is a great example of this. If the student meets the requirements, they fill out the form, they do the steps, they receive those dollars based on the formulas that are adjusted every single year. But if you don't file, you're not going to get those dollars. It's as simple as that. And where can we go to learn more, Bill? Investedindiana.org. InvestedIndiana.org. We have a contact us page there where our phone number is there. And then there's an email address. And all anybody has to do is reach out. We'll either pick up the phone, answer the email right away, or you will just go in order to get back to everybody. And they will get help and we'll get them across the finish line. Thank you so much. We really appreciate the information. Thank you. More Lifestyles right after this.